Welcome to your coverage of Missoula Sports Heroes. You're tuned in to the Missoula Prep Sports Network live stream of local sports. Ladies and gentlemen, and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. This presentation of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness, the only gym from Montana for Montana. Check it out. MPSN is your leader in Missoula's prep sports. We now take you to the action on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Everybody hustles out there, okay, guys? Nobody quits. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the third game of the day, game seven on the tournament with the Great Falls Chargers taking on the Billings Scarlets. And the first non-loser out game of the day. We'll jump right into lineups here between the two teams, and we'll start off with the opposing number eight seeded Great Falls Chargers, and leading the way will be their third baseman, number 12, Derek Spring. The catcher, number number three, Alan LaRock, will bat second. Batting third will be the second baseman, number four, Cade Stuff. Batting fourth will be number 14 of the right fielder, Matt Houlihan. The shortstop, number 22, Cal Cromwell, will bat fifth. Batting sixth will be number two, Cale Richards. He's the first baseman. Andrew Paradise, number 33, is the left fielder. He'll bat seventh. Batting eighth will be the pitcher, number seven, Braden Hurst. And the center fielder, number five, Josh Lowry. To round it out. Now for the Billings Scarlets, the number four seeded Billings Scarlets. And leading off is number four, the center fielder, Christian Michelson. Batting number second is number two, the second baseman, Max Egan. Ben Tallman, the catcher, number 11, will bat third. Batting fourth will be the first baseman, number 18, Andy Larson. <clears throat> Batting six, oh wait, batting fifth, number seven, Dylan Johnson, the third baseman. Depp. Batting six is number 25, Taylor Musgrave, the designated hitter. Logan Meyer, number three, the right fielder, will bat seventh. Batting eighth is Michael Bruns, the number nine, the left fielder, and the shortstop, number one, Kobe Croft, to lead things off here for, or to finish things off for the Scarlets. Our umpires, Wiley Stacy behind the plate, Mitch Ball down the first baseline, and Seth Kitchen down the third baseline. And we get ready for the national anthem, so we'll step aside for just a moment while we recognize those that have served, those that have fallen, and those that continue to serve. Right after this, we'll have the first pitch. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community.
Welcome back to e MPSN as we have the code of talk conduct being read. And a healthy body. Thank you. Thank you, George. And now for our veteran first pitch, please welcome Mr. Dan Hodge. Dan, who was originally from Butte, was a commissioned officer in the U.S. Army in 1968. Dan piloted helicopters during the Vietnam War where he earned 10 air medals. Following his service duties, Dan accepted a teaching and coaching job at Blythe High School in 1972. During his teaching and coaching days, Dan has received many honors. His track teams have won seven state and 18 divisional championships. They've also placed second in state meets eight times and second in divisional meets 13 times. Dan has been a Montana Coaches Association Coach of the Year eight times and was inducted into the Montana Coaches Hall of Fame in 1988. He's also a finalist for National Coach of the Year four times and recognized as the National Coach of the Year in 2012, where he's inducted into the National Coaches Hall of Fame in 2015. Dan has also been in, in, inducted into the Montana State Softball Hall of Fame in 1986, <coughs> the Butte Bute Coaches Hall of Fame, the Kalispell Legion's Field Hall of Fame, and the Butte Sports Hall of Fame. Dan has retired as a teacher but is still enjoying being the head boys track and field coach for play at high school. Let's see it, Dan. All right, the first pitch. And that one will hop on the plate. So we're ready to go. The veteran first pitch underway, and we're going to be ready for ball here in just a moment. The Billings Scarlets hosting the Great Falls Chargers, who upset the number one seeded Bozeman Bucks yesterday. Great Falls taking down the Bucks. 6-5 in the first game of the day. For the Billings Scarlets, they would take down the Missoula Mavericks 10-2. We have our game set for the most part tomorrow as the loser out games have been played for the day. <clears throat> so the, num the number six game, the Lethbridge Elks took down the Helena Senators to move on they'll face <clears throat> the Elks will face the loser of this game tomorrow at 1 p.m. game start at 1 p.m. and then the Missoula Mavericks took down the Bozeman Bucks in the game before this one they'll face the loser of the Royals versus Lakers game so both the Elks and the Mavs trying to make their way to the other to the championship game and we'll get ready to go here at Griffin Park. <clears throat> and the pitchers, Michael Zask of the Billings Scarlets and Braden Hurst and Zask will be the first one to go to work for the Scarlets. He's warming up for the Great Falls Chargers. Derek Spring to lead off, Alan LaRock in the on-deck circle, and Cade Stuff in the hole. We get ready to go. Our umpire, plate umpire, Willie Stacy, checking in with his first batter to make sure that he's ready to go as Zasky warms up. Gorgeous day here at Griffin Park as we have <clears throat> a few clouds in the sky, but the current temperature is 86 degrees. And spring now at the plate. So we're ready to go with the action on the day. I mean, on the game. Game three on the day. Game Seven on the weekend. And here's the first pitch thrown out over the plate at four o'clock for strike one. <clears throat> Zasky with the stretch. And this one will be banged out. Shortstop will pick it up on the run, bobbles it. And will not make the throw, and Spring will get on off the air. And we'll start things off with an error for the Scarlets. 
uncharacteristic. They might fall to the same thing as the Mavs did yesterday. They would have five or four errors in the first inning. And right away, oh, the ball, the coach is coming out to get the ball. I was like, wow, we already have a visit, but no. So that takes us to Ellen LaRock, the catcher. LaRock to settle in. And he'll swing on the first pitch for strike one. So Zask getting the first, getting the batter to swing at the first pitch. Good sign for the pitcher. The 0 1 now. They'll throw to first as the runner will dive back in. Derek Spring over there reaching off the air. <clears throat> Charge to the shortstop who bobbled the grounder. And the 0 1 now. And we'll go even at 1. 1 1 on the count. Cade Stuff goes to the on deck circle. For the Chargers. Great Fall Chargers coming in as the number 8 seed. They squeeze their way in, knocking out the Medicine Hat Moose Monarchs. <clears throat> I haven't Since I've been doing Legion baseball over the last three years, I haven't seen the Moose Monarchs in the Legion State Tournament, so I was kind of hoping to see them, but Great Falls getting it in as we go to strike two now to LaRock. <clears throat> Zask checks the runner at first. They'll throw over there. And I cover the Missoula Mavericks throughout the season, and I think this is the first time I've seen Zask pitch. I don't think I've even seen him pitch on the... And that one... will get us even at two. So 2-2 two -two on the count, with a runner at first and no outs. Zask will check the runner as Spring dances out there at first. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to be popped up over the catcher, and Tallman can't keep it in the glove. And LaRock will have another chance to hit. Tallman, who's a sure-handed catcher, Looked away from the ball as it came into the glove. Just like football, folks. Watch the ball. In order to catch it and then look up field. So LaRock settles back in, rubs some dirt into his hands as he grips onto the bat. One trend that I've noticed this year is the amount of batters that do not wear gloves and rub some of that dirt right in to get the grip. So the 2-2. Swung on, fouled off to keep LaRock alive. He looks down the third base line. The manager for the Chargers, Tony Forster, stands down in the third base coach's box. The 2-2, as Zask touches the runner at first, they'll throw over there and the dive back in. We've had some good baseball here this weekend so far. A couple of games that did get out of the get away, but Still some good baseball. Here's the 2-2. And this one will be hit down to the third baseman. He'll pick it up the throw to second. Can they turn the double? No. As the shortstop loses the ball. But they will take down the leadoff batter. And the fielder's choice puts a runner at first. So now we go to Cade Stuff. One out, one on. And the pitch will bounce in front of the plate. LaRock will get back to first. And we'll have ball one. <clears throat> Matt Houlihan goes to the on-deck circle. Get 
as Cage Stuff settles back in with a 1-0. Here's the Zask pitch. And we'll go to ball two. So the Scarlets took down the Missoula Mavericks, the four and five seeded teams playing each other yesterday. The Scarlets sitting at four. And there's a possibility that if the Scarlets win, they could see the Mavericks again. So here's the 2-0. And it'll be high and outside for ball three. <clears throat> Zask puts his foot back on the bag, or on the rubber. Checks the runner at first with one out. Here's the pitch. And the batter will be walked. And with one out, that puts runners at first and second. And we go to the right fielder, number 14, Matt Houlihan. <clears throat> a little frog in my throat, I apologize. The pitch. Slides over the plate for strike one. <clears throat> one out, two on. Opening frame between the Billings Scarlets and the Great Falls Chargers. Michael Zask with the pitch. And that'll slide over the plate for strike two. 0-2 on the count. Zask with the stretch. And the 0-2 will be swung on. It keeps the batter alive as it's fouled off. Cal Cromwell in the on-deck circle. O two 2 on the count. Runners at first and second taking their lead. Here's the 0-2. And this one will be hit out to the shortstop. He will get this one. The throw to second. And that will be out number two as Stuff slides in. And we'll have two outs now. With runners at first and third. And it was LaRock who was out at second. So Tallman will step in front of the plate, signals the field, looks to his dugout to get the pitch. Settles back in behind the plate. Runners at first and third take their lead. And Cal Cromwell awaits his first pitch of the game. <clears throat> and that'll be inside for ball one. Kale Richards goes to the on-deck circle. Cromwell, the shortstop for today's game. Here's the 1-0. -oh. And that one's down the line to the third baseman. He'll pick it up on the hop. The throw to first is there in time, and that's the side. So Great Falls will get a couple on, but they'll hang them there, and we go to the bottom of the first looking for our first hit and run of the game. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at mpsn406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.mpsn406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. mpsn.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. 
Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the bottom of the first inning. Scoreless between the Great Falls Chargers and the Billing Scarlet. Scarlet's getting their first opportunity at the plate. And Braden Hurst, the man on the mound for Great Falls, as LaRock is behind the plate. For the Scarlets, it's Christian Michelson, Max Egan, and Ben Tallman scheduled on the inning with Michelson to lead off. Egan in the on deck and Tallman in the hole. Here's the throw to second to indicate we're ready for the second inning, start of the inning, I should say, as Michelson jogs to the plate. Our umpire, Willie Stacy, cleans the plate off. as Michelson gets ready to go. And Hurst staring down Michelson gets the pitch from LaRock and the stretch. And we'll have ball one to start things off. Michelson, the center fielder, yet to see any action as everything's been kept inside as we go to ball two. Hurst. With the pitch, and we'll have 3 0 on the count. <clears throat> So the Great Falls pitcher falls behind on the count at 3-0. And Hurst will walk the batter to start the game, or for him at least. And we go to the second baseman, Max Egan. So a runner at first and no outs. As Braden Hurst stares down Egan. Here's the stretch. Bunt laid down right to the pitcher. He'll pick it up on the bounce. The throw to first is there, and that's out number one. The sack bunt, though, does its job as Michelson makes his way to second. So one down. We go to the catcher, number 11, Ben Tallman. Tallman's got a serious routine. To get himself ready for in the box. So Hurst now with the stretch. Runner at second with one out. And Tallman's going to go ahead and blast this one deep into left field. It's in the corner. That'll bring the first runner around. Tallman will stand up at second in the first hit of the game. We'll score the first run of the game. And the Scarlets will take a 1-0 lead. That brings us to the first baseman, number 18, Andy Larson. Larson waiting for his first pitch. As Tallman stands at second. One out. Runner at second. One run scored. Here's the pitch. And we'll have ball one. Dylan Johnson goes to the on deck circle for the Scarlets. 
Here's the Hurst pitch. And this one will be bounced out over into left center field. They'll go ahead and hold the runner up at third. And the Scarlets will have runners on the corners with one out. So now we go to Dylan Johnson, the third baseman. LaRock stands in front of the plate, signals the field. Hurst staring down. Johnson. Tallman at third. Larson at first. As Hurst continues to stare down. Johnson. The first pitch to Johnson will be over the plate for strike one. Willie Stacy, our plate umpire, very dramatic with his calls as we do get a breeze coming in now. The 0-1 by Hurst. And we'll have ball one. Taylor Musgrave goes to the on-deck circle for the Scarlets with one out and two on. Hurst with a dead stare at the batter. Gets the pitch from LaRock. And the pitch. Swung on. This one is going to have some leg into right field. And it's going to be over the fence. Nope, it's off the fence. That'll bring Tallman home. They'll bring Larson around. And the Scarlets will take a 3-0 lead on the stand-up double by Johnson. And that'll bring out the pitching coach to check in with his pitcher. Before they say before we see Musgrave. Musgrave talking to his manager Adam Hurst, Adam Hust, I should say. And the conference very quick on the mound as LaRock heads back. Logan Meyer coming out as well to catch whatever instruction Hust had. So Musgrave settles in with one out, a runner at second. And the Scarlets with a 3-0 lead. The pitch. And I hear noises going on in the third base dugout, so that means that the Chargers are warming somebody up. Can't see into the um, bullpen, I should say, not the dugout. Down the third base line. 0-1 on the count. <clears throat> to Musgrave. Runner at second takes his lead and here's the pitch. Swung on, foul back into LaRock for strike two. So 0-2 on the count. Braden Hurst trying to battle through the first inning of the game already down three runs to the Scarlets. Here's the 0-2 by Hurst. And Hurst will step off, forcing the runner back to second. The pitch. High for ball one. So one, two on the count. <clears throat> to the designated hitter. Hurst taking his time now, staring down the batter and the stretch. 
This one's going to be popped straight up in the air over the pitcher's mound. First baseman will come in to call on it, and he can't get it in the glove. So that'll put a runner at first off the error by the Chargers. That's the first one to them. And we go to Logan Meyer, the right fielder, number three. So Meyer will settle in with runners at first and second and one out. Scarlet's already up 3-0 here in the bottom of the first. Here's the Hurst pitch. And we'll have ball one. Michael Bruns in the on-deck circle. Musgrave stands at first and Johnson at second with one out. Meyer settles back in. And the pitch. And this one will bounce down the line to the third baseman. He'll bobble it and will not be able to make the throw. And that will load the bases up on the air. So each team charged with an error, and that's going to bring the entire infield in as LaRock calls him in. Trying to settle down these boys. They upset the Bozeman Bucks in the first game. The number one seeded Bozeman Bucks on the bus on their way back east to Bozeman as they fell to the Missoula Mavericks. Two losses, and you're out here in Kalispell. So Michael Bruns, the eight-hole batter, steps to the plate. He hangs out in left field for today's game. One out, loaded bases. Here's the pitch by Hurst. And this one's popped up in the air down the first baseline. First baseman's calling for it. He'll back off. Can't get it in the glove. And that'll be strike one on the foul ball by Bruns. Kobe Croft goes to the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. Loaded bases with one out. Bottom of the first. Scarlets with three runs so far. Working on adding to that. Here's the pitch. And that one will slide over the plate for strike two. Hurst was starting out with a walk that did on Michelson, who earned the first run of the game. Hurst with the stretch. And this one will be drove over the shortstop's head. Runner from third will come down the line, and the single will score a run for the Scarlets. As Johnson comes in, and it's now 4-0, Billings. And we go to the bottom of the order to Kobe Croft, the shortstop. Here's the pitch, and Croft is going to bang this one into center field. It's going to be just short of the center fielder. It's down to the warning track. Runner from third is home. Runner from second is around the corner. They'll hold up the runner at third, and a big stand-up double with the tag. And Croft will be tagged out at second on the overrun. And the Scarlets throw two more runs up on the board. And we go to Christian Michelson with runner with a runner at third. And Michelson 
We'll see strike one. Michelson walked to lead off. This is the swing back to the top of the order here in the first inning, and we go even on one for the count. Michelson walked his first at bat that earned him a run. He's got a 1 1 count on the board now. Scarlett's up 6 0 here in the first inning, and the low pitch will get us ball two. I did hear stuff going on in the third baseline bullpen, but I haven't heard anything since, so maybe it's a false alarm. Here's the 2 1. Sm smacked, and this one's in the center field. Center fielder is looking for it. It's in the glove, and we are done with the side. So the Scarlets, they leave one, they score six, and we go to the top of the second with Billings leading six to zero. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Do you feel stuck to your computer when cheering on your prep sports hero when you can't make it to the game? Well, now you don't have to. The Missoula Prep Sports Network has an app for all of Missoula's high school sports fans. How fantastic is that? Just search Missoula Prep Sports Network in either the iTunes or Google Play App Store and take the game on the go. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the future. Missoula Prep Sports Network knows that life is busy and you don't have time to sit by your computer. Download the app and take the game on the go. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Griffin Field for the 2018 Montana-Alberta AA Legion State Tournament. And as we are in the top of the second inning, the Billing Scarlets pouring on six runs in the first inning. Scarlets sit at the number four seed. The Chargers, the number eight seed, they took down the Bozeman Bucks who fell to the Missoula Mavericks, so they are done on the tournament and on their way home. For the Scarlets, it is number two, Kale Richards, the first baseman, as Michael Zask stands on the mound. Here's the pitch by Zask, and this one will be fouled off for strike one. Both teams putting errors up on the board. Three for the Chargers, two for the Scarlets, and we'll have ball one. Even count. The pitch. And this one is going to be past the third baseman. It'll roll into left field, and the Chargers will have a hit to lead off the inning. That takes us to Andrew Paradise, and that'll be the first hit of the game for the Chargers. So Paradise settles in. The left fielder, and Zask with the pitch. And it'll slide over the plate for strike one. I do hear movement in the bullpen down the third base line. I can't see in there as I'm positioned behind the sheds here on the third base line. Here's the 0-1. And that'll slide over the plate for strike two. So Andrew Paradise at the plate puts Braden Hurst in the on-deck circle. The 0-2 pitch. And this one's going to bounce out to the shortstop. The throw to second to get the leadoff. The throw to first will not be in time. And the fielder's choice will take down the leadoff runner. 
for out number one. And it looks like they're going to go ahead and call him out at first. As Forrester is out talking to Seth Kitchens on the third baseline. They're putting two outs up on the board. We'll hold until the Kitchen and Forrester conversation is done. Now Don, Dan, oh that's the assistant for the Chargers. Mitch Ball will come over and join the conversation with Seth, Seth Kitchen. So the two umpires discussing it with the Great Falls manager on what happened on that last play as they are calling both runners out at second and first. And Forrester still commenting to Seth Kitchen, and they're going to leave it as is. So two outs now on the board. Uh, the runner at second's called out for interference. Okay. So now we go to the pitcher, number seven, Braden Hurst. Zasky with the pitch. It'll slide over the plate for strike one. Bottom of the order for the Chargers. Hurst, the nine-hole batter. Here's the 0-1. And we'll go even at 1. Josh Lowry goes to the on-deck circle with two outs. The pitch. And we'll have ball two. So Zask falls behind on the count. Here's the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to bounce down the third baseline. Fair. The throw to first is there, and that's the side. So one, two, three for the Chargers. We go to the bottom of the second with Scarlett's leading Great Falls, 6-0. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Advertising on the web can be intimidating. Where do you start? What is the most effective way to reach the audience you are targeting? Milk Crate Media can help you reach your audience whether it is social media marketing or creating a unique commercial for streaming or for radio advertising. Milk Crate Media can help you build a new website or rebuild your existing website that will bring users back again and again. Visit www.mcratemedia.com today. Milk Crate Media is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports in Missoula and the surrounding valley. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton at Griffin Field as we go to the bottom of the second inning where the Great Falls, Char or the Great Falls Chargers are down to the Billing Scarlets, 6-0. And a new pitcher on the mound. All right, so number six coming in. I'll go ahead and dig his name up in the book and let you know who that new pitcher is for the Scarlets. It's the two, three, four batters with Max Egan le leading off the inning. 23 total pitches in for Braden Hurst. <clears throat> and that's Nolan Krosky. So Krosky now to pitch for the Chargers, and Egan waits for his first pitch, and it'll be a ball. The 
the 1-0 to Egan. And we'll have ball two. So Max Egan with the sack bunt for the first out in the opening inning. That put Michelson at second, who reached off the walk, and we go 3-0 now to Egan. Ben Tallman stands in the on-deck circle for Billings. The 3-0. And there's strike one. So Krosky gets into the count here. And the batter will be walked. So a runner at first now. We're on the leadoff. That brings Ben Tallman, the catcher. So Tallman to settle in his second at bat of the game. The first time against Krosky. The pitch. And that one will be a ball. Andy Larson in the on-deck circle. 1-0 on the count. Krosky checks the runner at first. And the pitch. And that'll get us ball two. So Egan coming in and six pitches. Seven pitches, six of those have been balls, one across the plate. Here's the 2-0. Oh. And that'll be strike two to give us our strike one. They put uh, it up as a ball on the board, so it confused me for a moment. Got to pay attention to Will Stacy, our plate umpire. So here's the 2-1 now. Fouled off, and it gets us even on the count. Tallman doubled with an RBI and found himself ho away home in the opening frame. Krosky checks the runner at first, and the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on, and he'll strike out the batter for out number one. So a walk and a strikeout. For Krosky, and now we go to number 18 of the first baseman, Andy Larson. Krosky checks the runner at first. And the pitch. This one's going to be rolled out to the second baseman. He'll pick it, bobbles it, picks it up. Now the throw to first, and that will be the out. Moves the runner to second from first. And with two outs. We have the third baseman, Dylan Johnson, coming to the plate. Johnson settling in. And the pitch. Slides over the plate for strike one. Taylor Musgrave goes to the on-deck circle with two outs. And here's the 0-1 by Krosky. Staring down Johnson. Stepping off the rubber and now settling back in. <clears throat> the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to curve down the first base line. It will be foul. And we'll have strike two. Johnson with a double his first at bat that brought two runners in and then he made his way around for a run. So he's got a double, a pair of RBIs and a run so far. So Johnson now facing the 0-2 with two outs and a runner at second. Bottom of the second, Scarlet's lead 6-0. This one's going to be bounced out. The second baseman will handle it. The throw to first, and that's the side. So the Scarlet's 
We'll get a runner on. They'll leave him there. And we go to the top of the third. Scarlet zero. I mean, Scarlet six, Chargers zero. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Stitches of Missoula is your resource for embroidery and screen printing. Give Stitches a call today at 406-529-2632 to speak with their super-friendly staff and have them take care of your embroidery needs. From business logos to team jerseys, Stitches Embroidery can help you and your team look good. Check them out online at stitchesmontana.com to see their full line of silkscreen and embroidery options. Stitches is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton from the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the top of the third inning where the Billings Scarlets lead the Great Falls Chargers 6-0. Michael Zask on the bump for the Scarlets. It will be the bottom of the order for Great Falls. Josh Lowry in the on deck and he will make his way to the plate now. Spring in the on deck and LaRock in the hole. So the Chargers looking to get themselves a run here. They do have a hit on the board. Spring reached off of an error to lead, start things off. Let's see what he can do here. The pitch. Bunt laid down the third base line. Third baseman will pick it up. The throw to first. Will not be there. They're going to go ahead and, nope. It will be a reach off of an error on the bunt. And they're going to call that a hit. So that swings us to the top of the order for the Chargers to Derek Spring. One on, no outs. Derek Spring looking to go to work. Zask with the check over to first. And now the pitch. That'll be outside for a ball. So Spring reaching off an error, his first at bat. one -oh on the count. Throw to first. Alan LaRock goes to the on deck circle. And we'll have strike one. Stacy throwing the strike signal to the right side of the plate since the left handed batter is in there. And the 1 1. Strike two. Spring being patient, but that one rode by over the plate. Now behind, 1-2 on the count. Zask stares down Spring, checks the runner at first. And now the 1-2. Swung on. This one's going to be golfed to the shortstop. And the runner at first will hold, and that's out number one. Now we go to Alan LaRock with one out on the board. Actually, that should be, yes, one out on the board. Runner at first will hold. I get ahead of myself sometimes. Throw to first as Lowry jumps back in. Zask checks the runner at first. And now the pitch to LaRock. LaRock will swing 
for strike one. Cade Stuff goes to the on-deck circle. one on the count. Runner at first. The pitch. And we'll have an even count. Chargers trying to get back into it here in the bottom of the second. They are, or top of the third. They are down 6-0. The Scarlet's pouring six runs on right out of the gate. Here's the pitch. And we'll be high for a ball. LaRock reached off a of fielder's choice, his first at bat. Settles in. He was part of that controversy in the last half inning. As this one's going to be banged out to the right fielder, he'll catch it in front of the scoreboard. And that's out number two. So the fly out takes us to. Cade Stuff, the second baseman. So Stuff settles in. Great Falls taking down Bozeman in the first game, the number eight seeded team, upsetting the number one seeded team, and that team is Bozeman is now done on the weekend. Great Falls looking to see if they can do the same thing to the Scarlets. And that'll slide over the plate to strike one to Stuff. Stuff was walked his first at bat. Zask peeping on the runner at first. And now the pitch. Swung on. This one's going to have some air. It's over the shortstop. The left fielder will come in in the glove and that's the side. So the Chargers get one on, but they leave them there. We go to the bottom of the third, Billings leading 6-0. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey days. crazy. Stop in the Network. The large stock of books, gifts, music, toys, and more. Stop in to Sacred Grounds for their full service coffee bar featuring Missoula's best gourmet coffee. While you're there, pick up a pound of Garden of Reading's award winning fudge and get a half pound for free. Garden of Reading is Missoula's home for the best dietary supplement, Define 8. Garden of Reading is located at 2621 Brook Street. Garden of Reading is a proud sponsor of Prep Sports on the Missoula. Prep Sports Network. Welcome back to MPSN. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we move to the bottom of the third inning where the Billing Scarlets lead the Great Falls Chargers 6-0. Leading off for the Chargers, or the Scarlets, will be their designated hitter, number 25, Taylor Musgrave. And the first pitch will be a ball to Cross Creek. The six, seven, eight batters scheduled on the inning as we go to ball two. Here's the pitch, and that one will be across the plate for strike one. So Cross Cree getting into it. Down 2-1 on the count. He would come in after Hurst would load up the runs, and this one's popped over first. The second baseman comes in to call it. He's got it in the glove, and that is out Number one. So they take off the lead, take down the leadoff batter on the pop out to the second baseman. That'll take us to the right fielder, Logan Meyer. 
So one down, nobody on. Top of three. Seven innings scheduled on all tournament games. As we go close to an hour into it, we're 50 minutes in, 52 minutes in, at the top of the third. As we have ball one tossed at Meyer. Michael Bruns goes to the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. The pitch. Swung on. This one's going to be golfed out into left field. Left fielder will run up on it. It'll bounce in front of him, and the runner will reach, giving the Scarlets the sixth hit of the game. Now we go to the left fielder, Michael Bruns. Look down the third base line. He'll get the call from his coach, Adam Hust. And the pitch. That'll be a ball. Bruns down the third baseline, gets the call. Runner at first steps away. 1-0 on the count, one out. The Rock sets behind the plate and the pitch. Bunt laid down the third baseline. The pitcher will pick it up, slides to a knee. The throw is made, and it's off target. And they're going to go ahead and bring the runners around and hold them at second and third on the air. So with one out, the Scarlets now with a threat at third. And they're going to put a error up there. It'll be number four for the Chargers. And we go to the bottom of the order to the shortstop, Kobe Croft. Here's the first pitch. Swung on for strike one. Coming up at seven, we'll have... In my book, the game of the tournament with the Billings Royals and the Kalispell Lakers, anything outside of that I think is just going to be cheese, but uh, I've been waiting for this game all tournament long ever since I saw the bracket. The foul down the third base line will get us to 0-2. Croft. Did reach second, but on the overrun was tagged out his last at bat. Here's the 0-2, and we'll go high to a ball. So cross Cray. with the pitch and will be low for a ball. Two, two on the count. With one out. The pitch. And we'll have our first K of the game. Actually, it's the second one for out number two. And that swings us to the top of the order to Christian Michelson. The pitch. Swung on. This one's going to be down the third baseline fair. They'll throw to first and it'll be in time and that's the side. So the Scarlets, they get a couple on, but they'll leave them there. And we go to the top of the fourth inning, 6-0. Scarlets, we'll be back right after this on the Missoula Preps Network.
Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we go to the top of the fourth inning where the Billing Scarlets lead. Six zero over the Great Falls Chargers and Michael Zask on the bump for Billings and he's pitching a good one here. Three innings pitched, a walk and a hit, no runs, and that is it. He's been backed up by a good defensive play by the Scarlets. Repeating after yesterday against the Mavericks. Scarlet saying, we have a chance. Look at us. We may be the four-seeded team, but we can take this one. For the Chargers to lead off will be number 14, Matt Houlihan. So Zask, a little polish on the ball before he puts his foot on the rubber. And this one will be fouled down the first baseline. It looks like the Royals are here, and they're warming up in the batting cages down the first baseline. They've got the 7 o'clock game. These games have been cruising along today. A little bit of a breeze here at Griffin Field. The 0-1 now by Zask. And that will be fouled right back onto the plate for strike two. Houlihan reached off of a fielder's choice his first at-bat. Lead-off batter on the inning for Chargers. The 4-5-6 batter scheduled as this one will be fouled off. Keeps the batter alive at 0-2. Cal Cromwell in the on-deck circle. For the Chargers. The pitch. This one's popped up down the first base line. The right fielder's trying to get there, but that's going to be into the batting cages. And that keeps Houlihan alive at 0-2. First two games were clean. We didn't have but more than a couple errors. This one, though. Actually, I take that back. The... Bucks loading up with five errors in their game, but the first game was extremely clean. And the 0-2. Here's the pitch. Check swing. No commitment, and we'll have ball one. And they say on the check swing what they're looking for is the break of the wrist. Usually they check with the Umpire down the first baseline, but no check here. So the 1-2 on the count and the pass ball. Throw down the first baseline, and that will be out number one. So one out, and we go to Cal Cromwell, the shortstop. His first at bat was a ground out to finish out the first inning. Cromwell to settle in with one out, nobody on. Zask with the pitch. And this one is batted over the head of Zask. It'll roll up the second baseman. The shortstop will make the throw, and it's going to be overthrown. So now. Cromwell will have the third hit of the game for the Chargers. And we go to Cale Richards, the first baseman. One on, one out. Top of four. Scarlet's lead 6-0. And they'll throw to first. Zask with a little stutter step before the throw. Now he puts his right foot back on the rubber. Richards waits for his first pitch, and it's on the way over the plate for strike one. Andrew Paradise goes to the on-deck circle. 
This game slowing down a little bit. We were cruising along with the first two, but this one, both pitching staffs taking their time. Will be low to even out the count. For Cromwell yesterday, he would go two for four with a run and an RBI. Cromwell did pitch, and they're going to go ahead and send him to first. Off the hit by pitch. And with one out, that puts runners at first and second now for the Scarlets. And we go to number 33, Andrew Paradise. Paradise settles in with runners at first and second. And Zask with the pitch for ball one. That one coming in hot. In the three and a third innings that Zask has pitched, walked one, hit one, and has one hit. One hit. Check that. Three hits, as I did not update, and that pitch will slide over the plate to even us out at one. And the Great Falls pitcher stands in the on-deck circle now with one out. Here's the 1-1 by Zask. That'll be low. It's this 2-1 on the count now. Tomorrow's games will be later. First pitch tomorrow will be at 1 p.m. Three games tomorrow, 1, 4, and 7. As that one is across the chin for ball three. Paradise was uh, ground out. Back in the second inning for the first out of the inning. Zask with the 3-1. And we'll get a walk to load the bases. And that will warrant a visit by the Scarlet's pitching staff. Tallman will go ahead and come on out and hand the ball right to Zask. Folks, it's that time of year when it's vacations. You're heading on out of town. Whether you're flying out or driving, you need some place to stay. Well, get a hold of our friends over at Grand Slam Travel. Mark Richardson at Grand Slam Travel does a great job of making sure that you're taken care of. All you got to do is pack and go. He takes care of finding your flight if you need one, accommodations if you need them. And gets everything set up so you just have to check in and have some fun. Look up our friends on Facebook, Grand Slam Travel on Facebook. Grand Slam Travel, a proud sponsor of Maverick Baseball on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Conference done. Nolan Crosscree. And Zask now with loaded bases and one out. This is the first at bat for Cross Cree. And the pitch will slide over the plate for strike one. Great Falls fans not happy with the call by Stacy. Zask now with the 0 1. Swung on for strike two. Zask has not struck out a batter yet today. He's up on the 0-2 count with one out and loaded bases. The pitch. And we'll have the runner advance. And the Chargers will get on the board after the hit by pitch.
So that's two now for Zask. Earning a run for the Chargers. And they're on the board, 6-1. We go to Josh Lowry now. And the pitch will slide over the plate for strike one. Derek Spring goes to the on-deck circle. Zask with the 0-1. And the pitch will slide over the plate. A dirty pitch by Zask to get us to 0-2. One out, loaded bases. One run earned off the walk. Or the hit by pitch, I apologize. The walk was before that. And we'll have another tight inside pitch to get us ball one. Lowry reached off a bunt. His first at bat. With one out and loaded bases, Zask puts his right foot on the rubber. And the pitch. And we'll have an even count at two. Two two on the count with one out. Zask looking to see if he can hold off any more runs earned. The pitch. And Zask will ring the batter up. That'll be his first strikeout of the game, and we swing to the top of the order to Derek Spring. One run earned here in the fourth for the Chargers, and Spring will swing on the first pitch for strike one. Spring reached off an error, his first at-bat. Last at-bat was a pop-out to the shortstop. Here's the pitch. And we'll have an even count at one. Alan LaRock goes to... The on-deck circle with two outs for the Chargers. Loaded bases. Here's the 1-1. One, one. This one will bounce out. The second baseman will get it on the hop, and he'll win the race to the bag, and that will retire the side. So Great Falls gets one, but they'll leave a couple, and we go to the bottom of the fourth. Six Chargers, one or six Scarlets, one Chargers. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Mike's Print and Copy is your locally owned print shop. Whether it's custom letterhead or business cards, Mike and his friendly staff understand that your business is important to you and will make sure that your project is handled in a professional and timely manner. Drop into Mike's Print and Copy to have them take care of your printing needs. Stop by 1503 South Russell or give them a call today at 406-728-3363 to have Mike's Print and Copy take care of your printing needs. Mike's Print and Copy is a proud sponsor of high school sports in Missoula and the surrounding community. Hockey Wolf Welcome back to Griffin Field. Chris Stratton for the Missoula Prep Sports Network as we are playing the seventh game of the 2018 Montana-Alberta AA State Tournament. We've already sent two teams home. That would be the Bozeman Bucks and the Helena Senators, so we're down to six. As we have Max Egan, the second baseman, lead off the inning here in the bottom of the fourth. First pitch. 
is a strike to Egan. Egan was walked his last at-bat. Had a sack bunt his first. Here's the 0-1, and we'll even it out. Ben Tallman in the on-deck circle. So the 2-3-4 batter scheduled on the inning for the Scarlets. Scarlets looking to see if they can punch their way forward on the winner's side of the bracket. And we go 2-1 on the count. Chargers with four errors on the game, though. That's always a tough one to overcome as the pitch will go to 3-1. You get to these state tournaments, you've almost got to have a perfect game as a team. Some of these teams have been getting by with some errors. The pitch, though, will walk the batter to put a runner at first to start the inning. That's back-to-back walks for Max Egan. And we go to the catcher, Ben Tallman. And Tallman has been a fun athlete for me to watch over the last few years. As he is a basketball star for Billings West. The Golden Bears. The pitch. And that will slide over the plate for strike one. Cross Cray coming in and just shutting things down, holding off the Scarlets. Hurst giving up six runs in the first inning, and Chargers have been trying to overcome ever since. That wild pitch will be held in front of LaRock. Evens us out at one. For Tallman, he's one for two, had a big double that scored an RBI, and he found himself a way to cross home plate. And his first at bat. Here's the 1 1. And that'll slide over the plate for strike two. The Great Falls fans sitting to the left of me, getting fired up for their boys. Cross Cray with the stretch. And we'll have an even count at two. He's got a little bit of an unusual delivery on his pitch. He's a shorter pitcher than the average pitcher that we've seen this weekend. And his release point, it's almost like he's kind of crouching when he lets go. Comes out at that halfway point where it could be a sidearm. We go to a full count at 3-2 now. with Andy Larson in the on-deck circle for the Scarlets. Runner at first with no outs. Bottom of four. And they'll throw to first as Egan dives back in. Egan reaching off of the walk. Breeze picking up here at Griffin Field. Much needed breeze as it is warm. And the 3-2. Runner's going to go at first, and no throw will be made as the Tallman will be walked with no outs. And here comes the pitching coach for Great Falls. The first visit out to Cross Cray. And Stacy coming out to break up the conference very quickly. Just hovers outside of that conference, and now it's broken up. LaRock heads back behind the plate. Runners at first and second with no outs. And Andy Larson comes to the plate. Larson yesterday with a home run against the Mavericks. Opportune moment for him to step up and knock one over. 3.30 down the first and third baseline. It is 
360 to the crease. We've seen one go over the fence already today. That one went over center field as the first pitch will be fouled off for strike one. And we saw a home run in every game yesterday. Billings Royals batting in the batting cages, warming up in the batting cages down the first baseline. They've got the Kalispell Lakers at seven. Here's the 0-1, and Larson's going to bounce this one past the second. No, the second baseman gets a hand on it, but his throw will be wide. That'll bring the runner down from third, and they'll hold the runner at second. As Larson makes his way to first off of the air. And Dylan Johnson comes to the plate as Max Egan comes home. And the Scarlets. And they're going to go ahead and call that a hit with the air. And Dylan Johnson comes to the plate now. And they're going to go ahead and intentionally walk Dylan Johnson. So that takes us to Taylor Musgrave. Loading the bases with no outs with the intentional walk. Scarlet's lead 7-1. There is a 10-run rule in the fifth inning and on, on the tournaments. This one's low to Musgrave for ball one. As the Great Falls crowd not happy with the umpire's calls here. Musgrave 0 for 2, popped out to the second baseman, his last at bat. This one's going to roll past. Runner will come home from third. Bases stay loaded. And the Scarlets take an 8 1 lead over the Chargers. And Tallman comes home. So that takes us to Logan Meyer with no outs and loaded bases. An 8-0 lead for the Scarlets. Or 8-1, I'm sorry. The pitch. And we'll have a ball. Meyer. Reached off an error his first at bat, singled his last, and LaRock will head out and converse with his pitcher. And LaRock very quickly heads back. Yesterday, Meyer, one for three with a run. He is dangerous at the plate. Seen him take a couple long on the Mavericks with my coverage of them. Here's the 1 0, and we'll have ball two. Things slowing down a little bit here in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch swung on and foul backwards to get a strike one. So 2-1 on the count. Michael Bruns in the on-deck circle. And the 2-1 pitch. We'll go to ball three.
So 3-1 on the count with no outs, loaded bases. Chargers looking for the first out of the inning, and this one's going to go ahead and walk the batter. It'll bring a run home for the Scarlets. That brings Larson home. And we go to the bottom, or we go to Michael Bruns, the left fielder. Things getting out of hand in the fourth inning for Great Falls. They played such a tight game yesterday against Bozeman. And really, they frustrated Bozeman for most of that game. This one will be golf past the third baseman. Runner's going to hold at third, and that brings Johnson home. And the Scarlets will take a 10-1 lead. And we go to the bottom of the order. To Kobe Croft. 10-1. Billings. Loaded bases and yet an out yet to be put up on the board. And the throw down the first base line, but Bruns will get back. And the pitch thrown was a ball. Cross Cray starting to slip away now. And that pitch will be fouled back into the catcher. Evens us out at one. Michael Christian Michelson in the on deck circle. With no outs. And the one one. And that'll slide over the plate for strike two. So the pitcher gets ahead in the count at 1-2. The pitch. And we'll have an even count at 2. So 2-2 on the count with no outs. Runners filling the bases. Next game at 7, Kalispell Lakers hosting the Billings Royals. And this one's going to be fouled into the bullpen down the first baseline. Keeps the batter alive. Chargers searching for the first out here in the bottom of the fourth. Loaded bases, runners step away. And the 2-2. This one's going to be fouled off down the third baseline. As Croft continues to battle, stretching out the pitch count for Cross Cray. The pitch swung on. This one's deep into center field. It's got some leg and... That one will bounce off the fence. Runner from third is home. Runner from second is around third, and they'll hold up the runner from first at third. And a big double on the deep shot. And it's now 12-1. That'll bring up top of the order down number batting, number four, Christian Michelson, number four. And we swing to the top of the order. To Christian Michelson. And that'll bring out the manager, Adam Hust. No, no. Tony Forster for Great Falls. And that will be it. So we'll step aside with the Chargers now up or down 12 1. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Hockey Wolf and Lacrosse Wolf is Missoula's one-stop shop for all your hockey and lacrosse needs. Check this out. It may be warm outside, but you can still take care of your hockey fix in their one-third sized indoor rink. Really? Wow, crazy. 
Stop in to 1010 North Avenue West and see what they have in store for your hockey needs. Hockey Wolf and the Cross Wolf is a proud sponsor of high school sports on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Attention all Legion baseball fans. The Missoula Prep Sports Network will be the exclusive video streaming provider for the Montana, Alberta, AA, and A Legion tournaments July 18th through August 1st. If you know of a local business in your community that would like to support the coverage of the games, please send us an email and we'll get in touch with you. Join us live from Kalispell, Montana and Miles City, Montana, July 28th through August 1st for state championship drama. MPSN, Legion baseball fans home for the 2018 Montana, Alberta state tournaments. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment, nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as we've got a new pitcher on the mound in Logan Houston for the Chargers. So Nolan Crosscree is done. Two and a third innings, two strikeouts, three walks, six runs earned off of five hits, 56 total pitches, 26 of those slid over the plate. That takes us to the top of the order for... The Scarlets in Christian Michelson. This is the first game that has gotten away from any team. I mean, we'd have some get. We've had some leads, but we're facing the ten-run rule. This one's going to be bounced past the shortstop. Runner will come home from third, and now runners at first and third for the Scarlets. And it's thirteen to one. And we go to Max Egan. Runners on the corners. No outs. Bottom of four. Ten run rule takes effect in the fifth. Great Falls will have to get some runs in here to keep themselves alive. First, though, they've got to get out of the inning, and the high pitch will be across the plate for strike one. Max Egan. Struck out, or I mean a sack bunt and a pair of walks on the day. And Egan was the first batter of the inning, so we're through the order as he'll swing on that one for strike two. So Logan Houston looking to see if he can put some outs on the board for the Chargers. Houston with the 0-2. And will be high. For ball one. So one, two on the count. Billings fans starting to make their way in. As the Royals are warming up. This one's going to be fouled off. And Egan will stay alive in the one, two count. Runners at first and third will... Head back to their prospective bases. 13 to 1. Billings Scarlets. They're the number four seed in the tournament. The Great Falls Chargers, number eight. Edging out the Medicine Hat Moose Monarchs at the end of the season. And this one's going to be the third baseman. The throw to second to get the out. Runner at third is going to go home. Here's the throw, and not in time. And that will score Croft. To make it 14 to 1 with one out on the board. So that leaves a runner at first with one out. So now we go to Ben Tallman, the catcher.
So one out, one on. Eight runs earned here in the bottom of the fourth for the Scarlets in the first pitch to Tallman will be a ball. Tallman will let that one roll by and we'll have ball two. So 2-0 on the count for the catcher. He is one for two with a walk on the day. He was walked. His last at bat was actually the second batter here in the fourth inning. The pitch. Swung on. That'll foul back to get us to strike one. So one out on the board here in the fourth inning for the Scarlets. Hush over the crowd. And Houston now with the pitch. Swung on. This one will foul off and we'll have an even count at two. Ben Tallman, the catcher. Andy Larson in the on-deck circle. Runner at first, steps away in Egan. And this one will be foul. Nope, this one's going to pop up over first base, and the second baseman will push him out of the way. And we'll have out number two as the runner holds at second. And now we go to number 18, Andy Larson. So two outs and a runner at first. And Houston shutting things down here in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch. And Larson's going to hit this one foul down the third base line. It'll be out of play for strike one. So the Kalispell Lakers getting themselves ready, and we do have a new pitcher warming up in the bullpen for the Scarlets. Can't see if that's a number five or a number six. You know, an old man with bad eyes. And Larson's going to bounce this one out to the second baseman. He'll get it on the hop, the throw to first, and that is the side. So the Scarlets earn eight. They leave one on, and we go to the top of the fifth inning with the Scarlets leading 14-1. to The 10-run rule taking effect. We'll see what happens. We'll be back right after this on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. Have you checked out the Garden of Reading video of the week at MPSN406.com? Do you have a sweet video of your sports athlete? Did you experience a sports-altering moment or something at a sporting event that wowed the crowd? Go to our homepage at www.MPSN406.com and click on the Contact Us tab at the bottom of the homepage and email us the video. Yours just might go viral. NPSN.com, Missoula's home for Missoula's prep sports heroes. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Montana owned and Montana proud. Your $29 a month Montana Mega Gym. Fuel has premier facilities with the latest equipment. Nutrition superstores, high energy classes, refreshing smoothie bars, attentive child care, expert trainers, and we never close. Best of all, you have access to six locations statewide for just $29 a month. That's less than a dollar a day. Get Montana strong at Fuel Fitness and Nutrition. Go to clubfuelfitness.com right now to find a Montana location near you. Welcome back to MPSN as we go to the top of the fifth inning where the Billings Scarlets lead the Great Falls Chargers 14-1. to Zask on the mound. I believe that the 10-run rule takes effect in the fifth. So the Chargers are going to have to put three up on the board. They're going to have to put four up on the board, I should say, to keep themselves alive. Alan LaRock will lead things off here 
for the Scarlets. Next game at 7, Billings Royals at the Kalispell Lakers, and the first pitch will be a ball. Here's the 1 0. And we'll have ball two. So Zask getting behind on the count to LaRock. LaRock reached off a fielder's choice, his first at bat, and then had a fly out to right field. He's got the 2 0 now. And the first pitch over the plate to get us at 2 1. For LaRock. He can swing the bat well. He did go 0 for 2, but had a run yesterday. Was walked twice. Bozeman trying to stay away from him. Here's the 2 1. And that'll foul off to get us even count at 2. And ABC Fox and SWX star Ben Wyman in the house. Covering the tournament. 2-2 on the count. Here's the pitch. Swung on. And that will be a strikeout. The second of the game for Zask. One down. So now we go to Cade Stuff. So looking at the bracket... The winner of this game will move on and win and match the winner of tonight's game. As we'll have ball one. The loser will play the Elks at 1 o'clock tomorrow. So the winner of the Royals and Lakers will finish will see the winner of this game. If it is the Royals, it'll be a Billings grudge match. And that plate, that pitch will slide over the plate to get us even at one. I'm not sure on the series with the Lakers and the Scarlets how the Lakers fared against them or how the two teams fared against each other as we'll have strike two. Zask at 70 pitches. And we'll have an even count at two. Matt Houlihan in the on deck circle with one out for the Chargers. And it looks like the Royals might be done with their batting practice. Here's the 2 2 by Zask. And this one's going to be fouled down the first baseline to keep him alive. That one came off the bat, bounced between the legs of the batter, and rolled down the first baseline. Kind of an interesting take on how that ball came off the bat. 2-2, two -two, one out, nobody on. Top of five. Scarlet's lead, 14-1. to one. the pitch swung on and he'll stay alive on the foul tip down in front Mark Richardson Trad Richardson of the Missoula Mavericks father here checking in got the voice of Flathead Sports for the Flathead Braves I should say as this one's going to be bounced out, picked up by the third baseman. The throw to first is on target, and that will punch out the batter at first for out number two. Takes us to Matt Houlihan. But if you guys want to hear a outstanding sports talk show, well, you should check in 6 to 8 p.m. with my good friend here, Anthony Nockenauer. Does the Knock On Sports Show. You can find it on both iTunes and on SoundCloud, correct? Yes, on SoundCloud. 
And the first pitch to Houlihan is a ball. <clears throat> Two outs, nobody on. Here's the 1 0. Swung on. This one's going to get into the glove of the shortstop. And that is the game. So the line drive to the shortstop finishes off the game. The 10 run rule taking effect. So the Chargers, one run off of three hits. They would have five errors and leave five on. The Scarlets, 14 runs off 11 hits, two errors, and five left on. So the Chargers, they will go to the winner go home side of the bracket to play the Elks at one tomorrow. If I can get my pen to work here. And the Scarlets move on to face the winner of the 7 o'clock game between the Billings Royals and the Kalispell Lakers. I want to thank everyone for tuning in and enjoying the game on the Missoula Prep Sports Network. We will be back in about an hour and 15 minutes for the final game of the day. The Scarlets stay on the winner's side of the bracket with a 14-1 to win over the Chargers. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. Thank you for tuning in to this presentation of Missoula Sports. What a rush. MPSN's coverage of Missoula Sports is proudly powered by Fuel Fitness. Always, always, always. Tune in next time when the Missoula Prep Sports Network has coverage of your local sports heroes. Wee!